Next, please welcome WISCA President and past ASCA President George Block, who will present our media award. Tonight, Brent Rudemiller. That, that must be my iPhone going off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brent has been uh, CEO and publisher of Swimming World since 2002. He's rebranded all of his content from the website, the TV, the magazine, Swimming Technique, all in the Swimming World. He conceived and built Swimming World TV when everybody told him it was impossible and doomed to fail, and it has clearly succeeded. He digitized all magazine content for easy availability, and I want to thank him especially for the ASCA Fellows for making all those archives available to the Fellows for their research. It, it made an a impossible task merely extremely difficult. His challenge for the future is the new world of media, and he wants to provide quality content as a reliable source of trusted news. He's got more innovations for us on the way this year, and in today's environment where printed media is facing the toughest environment it ever faced, and he is clearly America's voice in swimming media, it is so important we support him as he has always supported us. He is competing against a magazine that is distributed for free, and obviously he has to charge because he has to feed his children. In addition to feeding his children, he's fed swimming information to America and the world and has always been on the right side of issues that need a strong advocate. It is my pleasure to present ASCA's Media Award to Swimming World Editor, Brent Rudemiller. So I looked up there and I, I thought you found my doppelganger, <laughs> but then I realized that my hair is much shorter. So the uh, thank you, um, thank you, Nas uh, Ask. I appreciate this. The uh, the news business is nothing uh, unless there's support. I got a saying I was telling George a little earlier. If, if someone came up to me and said, uh, if a tree fell in the forest, did it make a sound? I'd say no, the, because the media wasn't there to report it. And we work hard at reporting everything. I think there's three very important issues out there still that I like people to keep in their forefront. One is I don't think we can rest until that 1976 uh, Olympic team is given their due day in the in 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 the world. Uh, I know that the there was yeah I think it's. We, we, um, we stripped the East Germans of their uh, titles as World Swimmers of the Year went all the way back in the books, and we did that in December. And I got, a, I got an email from, from uh, my, my peer, Craig Lord, over in Europe, and he was very, very upset with me. And he brought to my, to my attention that the East German women were victims too. So it, it kind of hit me that that we, we need to have this catharsis, we need to have this coming together of the East German women and, and the other, the Americans and the people around the world to just recognize what was wrong. But I think the, and have an exchange of, not an exchange of medals or, or return medals, but just recognize what people like Shirley Babishoff have gone through and how, how different their life would be. Um, so let's keep that moving. I'm glad to hear that USA Swimming is going to be doing a documentary on that. I hope, I hope I'm not spilling the beans here, but there is something going forward uh, to, to work in that regard. Um, the other issue I, I think is very important that we recognize Adolf Kiefer and get him the uh, Medal of Freedom Award. I'd like to see that happen. I'd like to see uh, Obama give him that award 
because uh, he's the good Adolf, and he, he, came, he came out of 1936 Olympics, but more importantly, not because of his Olympic achievement, just to underscore that swimming produces leaders, and that's what I love about the, co the coaching community, and I'll always remember that. So the, um, let's hope that there's some movement in that, in that regard. I think the current issue is continue pushing and keeping uh, vigilance over FINA and WADA and uh, USADA on how they go about uh, discovering people who uh, use drugs, athletes who use drugs. I think that we need to find a much cheaper method of detecting that. And uh, ASCA and WISCA have been a leader in trying to get you know, through uh, throughput testing involved, and I think that's real important. So we need to keep those 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 forward. But like I said, the the coaches is, is I think, the greatest community. I'm, I am in my element when I'm with coaches. Uh, I started out as a coach. I would have continued. I had some family needs that I needed to attend to, and I still do, but I needed to remain in the sport, so I'm very, very privileged to be a part of Swimming World. I feel it's a responsibility. The thing that I need to recognize is my staff. My staff has done a tremendous job. Uh, they're here tonight, and I think Tiffany Elias is a, a young blood in handling our marketing. Maureen Rankin's here. Jeff Cummings, who hosts our morning swim show, is working the camera. He's doing a great job. Michael Stott's one of our writers here. Jeff, Jason Marsteller's back in the, um, doing his thing 24-7. We become a 24-7 news. We have more from a monthly magazine to 24-7, and that's difficult. The good news is that we are going to I'm going to double down. I don't. I still believe in print, and we're going to produce 36 magazines in 2000, 36 Swimming World magazine 36 times in 2015. Meaning we'll go 12 times print, but we're going to bring you a bi-weekly Swimming World magazine so that you can read the news that you missed on the internet. Because I know it's fleeting, it's fast, but we're going to aggregate that content and we're going to deliver it to you. So we hope for your support in that. And one of the things that I'm really excited about is we're going to bring back Swimming Technique magazine and start getting to the core of, the, of things. Back to the technique and training. For all that, I'd just like to thank uh, Aska and John Leonard for this recognition. I appreciate that. And a little saying that I always say. It, it shouldn't choke me up, but I just... It, 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 I guess, I guess it comes back from my coaching days, and it's, uh, if you want to win, you first help someone else win. Thank you.